One last demonstration before we leave this Z fighting topic. I have our near plane here. The near plane is close to the camera, and the far plane is a little bit further away, but we don't have much range here. We've talked about that in the previous video. I'm going to push our far plane way out into the distance. In our near plane, I'll bring it closer to the camera. Let's bring our cube into the scene, translate the cube so it's roughly right there against the near plane. And then I'm going to add another cube. I actually changed it from a sphere. Just for this one video, I changed it from a sphere to a cube. Here's another cube. Let's translate it all the way out to the far plane. In fact, let's move our actual view here so we can see this. The cube on the left is very close to the near plane, very close to the camera. The cube on the right is out there. In fact, it's past the far plane. Let's bring it in a little bit. Now watch, watch what happens as I, as I slide this in. Well, you saw there a little bit. This far cube, it's far away from the camera. So the amount of depth here, as far as the camera is concerned, is not very important. Okay, generally, things that are closer to the camera are the ones we want to give a much larger range of depth values to. So this cube will not actually squish as much as this cube, even though in three-dimensional space they are the exact same width. It's a width unit of two units, I believe. But Anyway, let me project these. Project them in slowly but surely. You can see that back cube has already been squished a significant amount compared to the front cube. Let's get over here where we can actually see the end result. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. And there we go. So the cube that was close to the near plane, not as much squish as that cube that was out by the far plane. You can see, man, that cube by the far plane just got eaten up as far as depth. All right, lots of depth left left here for the depth test. Lots of depth range values. The closer you are to the camera, the more depth range you'll have here. Whereas things that are further away from the camera, there's not much room to wiggle. So you'll get a lot more Z fighting far out away from the camera than you will close to the camera. Anyway, I hope that makes sense there.